Hi, I'm Steve Pond. We're here at the Sundance Film Festival at the Rap Studio. I'm thrilled to have Stanley Nelson, the director of Miles Davis' Birth of the Cool. Welcome. Um, I usually start by saying, you know, why did you decide to make a movie about this? Miles Davis seems like, of course you'd want to make a movie about Miles Davis. And Miles is... Uh in, in some ways, such a wonderful subject because he's such a complex individual and his music is also complex and went through so many different phases. Yeah, I mean, I would, Miles feels like a mini series to me, actually. Yeah. It is. It, it, it probably is. We got a, a review this morning that said, uh, you know, the film is great. It, it, it should have been longer. So, I mean, so how, how challenging was it to sort of fit all that Miles was and all that he meant in, in two hours? Um, you know, it was, it was really challenging. But, you know, I, I think that in some ways, um, you know, it was a two-hour story. I, I think that, that, you know, in some ways, so many times when you see the, uh, you know, everybody wants to do a series now, and so many times they seem inflated, you know, and, and, and I, I think, you know, it, you have to have something else going on besides just a straight biography, you know, if it's, uh, you know, six hours. Um, but, I, you know, I, I think we did it. We, we, we tried to get some of every era in there. Um, you know, uh, so many people concentrate on, like, the, you know, uh, late 50s, early 60s miles, but we wanted also to, to talk about the 70s and 80s miles. Was the footage of all available to you of, of you know his performances? When was it easy to to round up what you needed? Well, you know, we we, we had a lot of, of still photos from the early miles. I mean, so what happens is you know there's there's not a lot of performances early. Then um, there's one great performance of a uh, film from the late 50s um, that's just incredible where he goes into uh, NBC and they do this whole like hour long uh, kind of concert, live concert with Coltrane and Miles. And, and then they bring in Gil Evans and, and, the, and the huge orchestra and they do all of that and they, they shoot it with, I don't know, five or six cameras. And it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, it's just incredibly beautiful. Um, so we use that. And then, you know, as you get into the 70s and 80s, all of a sudden, and there's like a lot more footage, and and so we wanted to to give the the film kind of a, a seamless uh, feeling, and so we we uh, it, that was a trick to to use the photos in the beginning, and then to use the uh, film and, and and video as we got uh, further on in his career. How did you figure out how to balance? You know, the, the music on its own is is monumental, but then you've also got the man who went through some, you know, serious ups and downs was a, you know, was a difficult person. Um, so how do you, how do you weave it all? How do you yeah, weave I, it all in? I, I, think, I think one of the things we really wanted to do was not to have, um, you know, Miles's personal completely overshadow the music and that's always uh, I think a hard thing to do in music films is it sounds weird but to get enough music in a music film so we looked at a lot of music films and so many times it seems like there's a lot of talking about the music but there's not enough music um, so we really wanted to make sure that we had enough uh, music in the film. Um, but, you know, one of the things that's so fascinating about Miles is, you know, the personal trials and tribulations that he went through. But, but I also think that one of the things I hope that we balance in the film is that Miles' personal life had a real influence on his musical life. And we try to show that, how, how, those, th how those two things are really uh, connected and, and, and entwined. Were there certain moments when you were putting it all together that you felt like were were keys to understanding Miles? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, there, there's this uh, one of my favorite sequences in, in the film, and, and probably one of my favorite sequences in any film I've ever worked on is where we talk about Miles um, um, and ballads, playing the ballads, because Miles was famous for that early on. Or is his ballads, and actually, you know, Carlos Santana, uh, the great musician, kind of, you know, uh, starts it off by saying, um, you know. Um, you know, anybody can play a lot of notes, you know, you know, they could do that. But what's hard to do is to slow it down and to play ballads. And we go into a, a ballad, It Never Entered My Mind, which is one of the most beautiful songs that Miles ever, ever played. And we just, and, and we use a lot of uh, photographs of, of lovers and just let Miles, uh, let Miles' music kind of carry you through.